Joy over here. Thanks for joining me on your mats for um, Haka Flow. Um, today's class, we're going to be focusing on the core. So we're going to be doing quite a few core um, exercises uh, in between our flows. All right, so it's going to be fire. Come down to your backs. Take your feet as wide as your sticky mat. Relax the low back, let it be heavy on the ground. And you can just cactus your arms here. Let your knees touch so your feet are wide and your knees are touching. Just take a few moments here to start to ground yourself to center. Creating that connection, mind, body, breath. Bring awareness to each inhale and exhale. Feel the belly expanding, the chest expanding as you breathe in. And allow everything to relax as you breathe out. And then, just when you wipe your legs, a couple of times here. And then you're gonna come back to center. You're gonna tabletop your legs. And again, you can keep either your arms to cactus or you can extend it out to the side to a T. Take an inhale, exhale slowly with control, lower your knees to the right. Inhale back to center. Activate through the toes, whether you're flexing or pointing them. And find this twist here. So really engage, move from the core. So engage the belly. And just keep moving here from side to side. Remember, um, it's not about always repetition, but it's really about moving slow with control, with intention. Let's do one more time each side. And come back to center. Step your feet wide, your knees touch, windshield wipe the legs. And then tabletop your legs once again. Bring the shins parallel to the floor this time. You can keep your shoulders on the ground or for more challenge, you can lift the shoulders. And here you can also lace the fingers, creating a little hammock. Open your elbows nice and wide. Take a big breath in. Exhale, extend your right leg slowly lower. Inhale back, exhale. Inhale. Every time you exhale, you extend one leg out and lower. Keep your neck long. Again, avoid crunching here. If this is too intense for you, you can keep your knees bent and just tap the toes on the ground. So see where you are. Maybe you do a combination. Again, wake up your toes here, whether flexing, pointing, or those Barbie toes. Keep drawing your navel towards the spine. We're here for three, two, one, and release. Plant your feet on the ground hip width. You're gonna do move the hips and the arms at the same time. So you're gonna inhale slowly, two, three, Four, stretch your arms overhead, exhale, lower, starting from the upper back, two, three, four, keep going, inhale, two, three, four, maybe even five, exhale, two, three, four, five, three more times, follow your breath, set your own rhythm, 
Roll each vertebrae at a time. The last thing will be your tailbone coming down. Stay with me. Last one, my friends. And release. Tabletop your legs one more time. Now, you're gonna bring your arms outside your right leg. You can keep one hand on the ground, or you can even keep the shoulder on the ground. But we're adding a little twist here. Relax your neck. Inhale, stretch your leg up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Rebend the knee, drop back in, and slowly paddle. So like you're riding a bike, but you're just moving one leg at a time. Three more, inhale, exhale. Listen to the breath, last one. Exhale here, hold. Lift your shoulders a little higher. We're here for three two one and come back to center you can windshield wipe the legs a little bit give yourself a little belly rub and we're gonna go right to the next side the other side so inhale lift the shoulders again to modify you can keep the shoulders down or keep one hand on the ground inhale exhale Three more. Keep gazing up. Relax your jaw. Focus on the core doing the work for you. Last one. Hold it here. Lift the shoulders a little bit higher. Stay with me for three, two, one. And release. Very nice. Start to rock back and forth the length of your spine, maybe even go into a baby plow pose. And we're gonna find our lovely boat pose, Navasana, that we love so much. So remember, modifications here will be heels on the ground or the tips of your toes. If you're feeling really strong today, maybe you hover the shins and you can use the hands behind your legs here. Just hold it with me. Relax your hip flexors. I'm gonna add a few twists. So again, the heel can stay on the ground. So it will look like this. You can even do just lifting one leg. And switch. Stay with me. And release, hug your shins in, lengthen through the low back, lengthen the spine. And then find your tabletop, my friends. Shoulders over wrists, knees under hips, and start to move through cat and cow. Inhale, arch the spine, lift your gaze, exhale, round, breathe in, and breathe out. Now we're going to add a little bit more, inhale, exhale, press back, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, squeeze the belly and the glutes, take a baby push up, and press back. Keep hugging your elbows in. So this is our preparation for our chaturanga. So try not to let the shoulders dip below the elbows. Even if you just bend your elbows a couple inches here. So it can be a micro bend, like really small. Last one. Now come here. Lower your forearms down. 
Tuck your toes for a forearm plank. Press the forearms firmly on the ground. And now find a little saw motion here. So you shift forward and back. Forward, back. It's like what we call the little inchworm here. Pull that belly in, lengthen your tailbone, tone your legs. We're right here for three, two, one. Lower your hips to the ground. A sphinx pose. Make sure the legs are also engaged here as you point your toes back. And slowly press back to child's pose. Thread your right arm under the left. One more breath in. Slow breath out. Back to center. And switch. Last one. Find downward dog. You're gonna inhale, find a floating tabletop here. Now draw your right knee to your nose and slowly switch. So you can do this here with your knee on the ground. Or for more challenge, you keep floating your knee. Now take your right knee to your right shoulder and switch. One more time. Downward dog. Now I want you to inhale round that spine forward, lower down for three, two, one, spider cobra, inhale, lift your chest, exhale, dip your right shoulder, come back to center, and switch. Breathe in, and breathe out. Child's pose, take a little twist here, thread your right arm. Back to center, inhale, switch sides, exhale. Come back to center, inhale, round forward, lower down for three, two, one. Seal pose, so extend your arms, hands about mat width distance. You can walk the hands back a little bit more towards you, so you lift a little bit more into the chest and slowly release. Downward dog. Raise your right leg to the sky. Take your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, knee to nose. Plant your foot, take an inhale, rise. High lunge, square off the hips. Open twist to your right, flip your palm, reach up and back. You can just extend your arms sideways, you don't have to Flip the palm and come back to center. So from here, keep the shoulders over hips. That knee stacks over your ankle. Pull the belly in. You can always bend the back knee a little bit more to um, have less crunching on the low back. So inhale, exhale, cactus your arms, bend the back knee. Inhale, reach, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last one. 
inhale reach exhale here now do tiny baby pulses here for three two one inhale draw that left knee towards your chest and then twist to your left stay nice and tall one more breath here come back to center inhale exhale curtsy so cross your left foot behind take your hands to your hips and take baby pulses here for three two one inhale mountain pose exhale fold inhale reach exhale step back to plank move through your flow cobra or upward dog press up and back downward facing dog be mindful of your transitions continue to move with your breath the breath sets the rhythm bridge your left leg high left knee left elbow inhale lengthen exhale inhale reach exhale step your foot forward inhale rise high lunge find stability soften where you can take another breath in exhale open twist to your left reach up and back come back to center breathe in and breathe out cactus your arms bend your back knee inhale reach exhale cactus last one hold it here now add baby pulses for three two one draw your knee in open twist to your right stand tall trust yourself shift your gaze towards the back hand come back to center inhale exhale curtsy and again add those baby pulses really bend through the knees here feel the outer glutes engaging for three two one inhale rise exhale fold breathe and lengthen breathe out step back plank hold we're gonna lower down to our forearms and press ourselves back up into a high push-up or just hold your plank See if you can switch which hand you press first. Press yourself up, take an inhale, exhale lower. Breathe in, back bend, breathe out, downward dog. One more. Find a stillness here. Ground yourself. Raise your right leg. Draw your knee to your nose. Plant your foot. Inhale, rise. High lunge. So we're going to extend and twist and inhale back to that lunge. So we're gonna be moving with the breath, okay? So inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale back to your lunge, exhale, twist. Two more. Last one. Come back to center. Lift your heart, take another breath here. Good, once again, draw your knee towards your chest. Open twist.
come back to center. You're going to bring your heel behind you. We're going to take a dancer's pose, a little back bend here. Open the chest, stand tall. Slowly release. Curtsy. This time, lace the fingers. Bow here. Inhale, rise, figure four. You can add a little pulses here if you want, or you can stay in stillness. Three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, bow. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, plant your hands, move like you. Big breath in, slow breath out. Again, inhale. Exhale, raise your left leg, draw your knee to your nose, plant your foot, inhale, rise. Exhale, twist. Good, inhale, back to your lunge. Exhale, twist, two more. Last one. Come back to center, lift your gaze. And then slowly transfer the weight to your right leg. Maybe do a little dance. Open twist. Come back to center, bring your right heel behind you. Grab a hold of your foot towards the inner edge, lift your gaze and kick. One more breath in dancer's pose. Slowly, mindfully release. Curtsy, lace the fingers, fold. Inhale, rise, one-legged mountain. Take your figure four, flex your toes. Again, stay in stillness or slowly, like you're doing a baby squat here. And add to those little pulses. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly fold. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, step back to plank. You're going to do shoulder taps. So tap your left shoulder, right hand, and switch. Try to stabilize through the hips. Maybe open the feet a little bit wider. We're right here for three, two, one. Lower down. Inhale. Take your back bend. Exhale. Lower down here to your belly. Extend your left arm out. Roll towards the shoulder. For wishbone pose. And a quad stretch here. As you grab your foot or your ankle, remember you can use a towel, a strap. Make sure your knee's not pointing up towards the ceiling. And then slowly release. Switch sides. 
first get into the pose, stay here, or if you took that quad stretch on the other side, do the same here. Final breath. And then slowly release. You're gonna bend your knees, grab a hold of your foot or ankles. We're gonna take ball pose, Dhanurasana. Big breath in, exhale. Take your feet into your hands, your hands into your feet. Draw that navel towards the spine. We're here for three, two, one. Slowly release. Windshield wipe your legs. Hmm. Thank yourself for your efforts. And then slowly release, press back into child's pose. Take a couple breaths here with your knees touching. Forehead rests on the ground. Maybe you even wrap your arms by the sides of your body. Breathe deeply into that low back. Reach your arms out, raise your right leg, take your right knee to your right elbow, inhale, reach to your left elbow, falling triangle, extend both legs, reach your arm up, maybe even extend the arm over your ear. Remember, both hands can be on the floor here if you need a modification, or your right knee can come to the ground. Come back to your three-legged dog. Step your foot forward. Inhale, rise. High lunge. Either open twist with your arms extended or take your hands to the ground and then hook your left elbow outside your right leg. If you have a bind here, feel free to wrap your arms around. Right arm behind the back, left arm under the right leg. One more breath. Slowly release, frame your right foot, take a standing splits. Keeping your hips square. You may need to bend your right knee here a little bit. You're gonna round your spine. Take your left knee to your nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Inhale, reach, curtsy, reach your arms back, inhale, rise, one leg in mountain, take that figure four once again, and then sit nice and low, if you can, you're going to either take your forearm or your elbow to the sole of your foot and add a twist here. One more breath. Slowly come back to center and release. Inhale, reach, palms touch, hands to the heart. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale, fold. Step back to plank. So you're gonna take hold it here, take an inhale, exhale, side plank, raise your right arm, come back to regular plank, take a push up, chaturanga, to the other side. Your knees can come to the ground. So 
if you need to modify. Last one. Lower down. Inhale, Cobra, Upward Dog, or any back bend here that serves you. And take Child's Pose. Downward Dog. Last side here, last time. Take your left leg high, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, reach to your right elbow, fall in triangle. Again, maybe you reach your arm overhead and add that side stretch. Come back to three-legged dog. Step your foot forward, inhale, rise, high lunge. Holding your rise. Take another inhalation. Exhale, hands to the heart. We're gonna twist to the left. So again, if you did that open twist with the arms extended, you can do that on, the, on this side as well. Keep pressing firmly through the palms, engage the legs. Slowly release. Find that standing splits. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Again. Two more. Curtsy. Reach your arms back. Inhale, rise. One legged mountain. Figure four. Sit low, square off of the hips, flex the toes, and then you can add the option to twist if the balance is there. It might not be on both sides, you guys. This is real life, right? There's no editing in those videos. And slowly release, take an inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the heart center, good work. We're gonna start to cool down a little bit here. So extend your legs in front of you. You can rock the hips back a little bit. Bend your knees as much as you need. definitely feel the heat, the tapas, you know, like losing things up and just releasing any everything that feels heavy. Take an inhale, exhale, hinging from the hips and start to walk the hands forward, rock the hips back. Breathe deeply where you feel the most sensation here. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to keep forcing and struggling in the pose. This is your opportunity to slow down now. I know this class was a little bit more fiery, right? More yang. But now we transition into the yin portion of class, which is cooling. It's a slow. Both are good, right? But you cannot just have the fire or the cold, right? You need both, you need balance. And then slowly release. Cross your right leg over the left. And just take a twist here. Make sure you flex your toes. Sit tall. Use the back hand, your right hand and arm as if you had like a second spine here. Good, slowly release. 
You can either work on a half lotus here with your foot into the hip crease, or you can just bring your foot inside your leg and fold once again. So now we're focusing on the right side of the low back as you extend your left leg. Use your inhales to lengthen, your exhales to fold. Two more breaths. And then slowly release. Extend your right leg, cross your left leg over, and twist to your left. So make sure you're pressing into the leg, right, to help you twist here. Stand tall, stay active from the toes, leg, the core. And then slowly release. Again, we're gonna go into that Janusharshasana, or you can work with that half lotus if you want. Fold here. Square off the shoulders. Go back in, go back to the breath. slowly release. All right, so now we're gonna take a little Akini Stambhasana fire log for a little bit more outer hips and also low back. So you're gonna bring your right shin and keep it at the bottom, right? So bring your shin parallel to the edge of your mat, whether it's the top or the side. And then you're gonna stack your left shin on top so for those of you that are very flexible in your hips, you wanna try to stack your ankle on top of the knee. I have very tight hips, so I usually modify and just slide my foot towards the shin. But the, the intention is to stack the shins and not cross the legs, okay? Flex your toes, take a big breath in. Exhale, maybe you fold, maybe you don't. You can even use props here if you have a big gap between, you know, the leg and the bottom and top leg. Just see if you can relax here. Soften, notice if you start to grip or resist. Sometimes just sitting upright, that might be enough for you. This fire log pose is definitely, you will feel the fire, the little burning in your hips. And then slowly release. You can windshield wipe your legs between sides. And then switch. So your left shin now will be under, you stack your right shin on top. So again, you can draw your foot all the way. See like how my knee is coming up towards my ear? That's just because I don't have the flexibility and I, I actually have a little bit of a limited range of motion here, but it's all good. So there's many ways for us to modify, to adapt to a pose, right? So don't judge yourself. Work with what you have and be grateful. So again, you can just stay here, sitting nice and tall, or you can slowly fold. Add a little bit more. A 
avoid losing connection to the breath and try not to escape the pose. I know it's easy for us to, when we struggle and we just feel too much, right? Sensations are so intense. It's easier to check out and, you know, start getting distracted and um, coming out of the pose. So remember, this is your time on your mat. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy, right? That it's always easy and it's a breeze. It's often actually challenging. slowly release you can shake it out the legs if you need and then cross your legs sit nice and tall draw your chin towards your chest and then bring your left ear towards your left shoulder back to center and switch sides. Inhale, back to neutral, exhale, lift your gaze. Coming back to neutral, Find your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Give yourself, you know, permission to rest, to let the body absorb. You can stay as long as you like. We normally, you know, encourage at least three minutes. Um, it is the most important pose. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. May you have peace, may you be happy, may you be free. Namaste.